So everything's gone. At first, you might not notice that Mike Santoro is wearing Google Glass. But if you look closely, you can see the silver frame and tiny glass prism that defines the device and passes information from your cell phone to a virtual screen in front of your eyes. Well, anything tech interests me, and so when you have the opportunity to get something like this, that's cutting-edge technology, you know, you've got to jump at it. Mike entered a contest and paid $1,500 for the privilege of being a Google Glass Explorer, one of the first to try this wearable, hands-free computer interface. It's been really cool to take hands-free pictures, hands-free videos, settle a couple arguments by Googling things on the fly. But a tiny computer camera combination raises privacy concerns for some. One of the reasons that Glass has this Explorer program is to get it out into the streets and show people what it does. So what's it like to wear Google Glass? Well, it's not as disconcerting as you might think. You do see a screen above your right eye. To get it to work, you look up and say, OK, Glass, take a picture. And it's that simple. I've just taken a picture of Al Brown taking a picture of me. This is what it looks like, what one editor described as picture in picture for past Mike to his co-workers at Walker Sands to see what they thought of it. It's really awesome. Um, there's a transparent screen in front of me, but I can still see everything else that's going on. I feel like Jordy LaForge. That is very cool. <laughs> Mike says while the device is limited in use so far, he can see where it will play a much more important role in the future. Long term, I think they'll start embedding it into like a fireman's mask, you know, a fireman navigating a smoky-filled building. It could be really useful for that.